Now only last week we were talking about uh, large screens, whether it makes more sense to go with an LED screen or a projector. Now of course the projector would make more sense and for the price of a 75 inch LED you could actually get an entire home theatre system. Exactly, which is why my colleague Anand had a chance to sit down and chat with Nishant Padia, he of course the editor of What Hi-Fi magazine and they've uh, come up with all the options available when it comes to home theatres and what you need to be mindful of. So Nishant, in our previous episode, we were talking about if you're investing in a big screen and you're looking out for that 75, 85 inch LED TV, you will have to uh, shell out a lot of cash. Somewhere, a lot of it. Yeah, somewhere upwards of 5, 6 or even 15 lakhs if you're going for the 4K versions. Absolutely. Now, we were talking about if you're buying this as a second screen, buying a home theater setup might make sense because it will be at half the price. What do you think of that? I completely agree with your thoughts, Anand. In fact, uh, in case uh, you, you are in the market and you want to spend a sizable amount of money, like you said, as an example, say about 8 lakhs, uh, I think you should invest in a, in, in, in a projector and a much bigger screen because if you have a projector, you have the flexibility of going down from, say, 60 inches as the, as, you know, the, the, the lowest point to maybe about 300 inches, you know, if your wall or your screen supports yeah. that. So you have a lot more flexibility, a lot more range depending yeah. on in which room you want to place the projector. If you have a dedicated purpose-built home theater room, I think it's it's perfectly apt. So for lesser money, you can get an entire home theater set up, right? Yes. Absolutely. So what are the elements that you feel are absolutely necessary? Well, for a home theater, if you have a room which I think that would be the first point. I mean, you if you can spend about 15 lakhs on a home theater system, try and devote a room or at least a space in the room uh, for a dedicated home theater because that will just change the entire equation. You'll be a lot more immersed and involved into the experience as opposed to people moving in and out and having a common area. So the room is very important. Apart from that, obviously the hardware, so you have the projector. A screen is very, very important, which a lot of people overlook because people just assume that if it's a projector, you can project on a blank white wall. Yeah. But I think that's that's really bad, and it's it's very very poor insulation and very lazy. Yeah. Uh, so a screen is very important. Uh, the hardware, like the amplifiers, the speakers, and a good source, because again, people overlook the fact that you need Absolutely. a good source to feed into the projector. Let's keep a budget of say three to four lakhs, because we are out here to prove a point that within that kind of money, you can get a decent setup. Let's look at that kind of setup within three, four, five lakhs, and then why don't you suggest after that your ideal setup? I think I'd start with the with the BenQ uh, W one zero one zero seven zero plus, which is also wireless ready and also has a great feature for, called site projection, which yeah. means that you don't need to have a purpose-built room like we were talking about earlier. You can actually uh, place a projector on a side stand or a desk yeah. Yeah. and still have a completely centralized picture. So I think uh, it's a great starting point. It's a great projector yeah. for about one lakh ten thousand yeah. uh, retail. Uh, you you can have an amplifier or an AV receiver, maybe by Onkyo, maybe the TX uh, NR838, which okay. is I think another about 70, 75,000 yeah. rupees. Yeah. And then you can have, I mean, obviously in terms of speaker charges, there's a plethora of options out there. Absolutely. But I think a good uh, starting off point would be maybe the Cambridge Audio Aero. Okay. Uh, you can get a complete 5.1 system for under a lakh. Okay. Uh, so no, so you have about. 80,000 per, per piece uh, and then you have about 40 or 50,000 jump changes lying around. Okay. You can buy a good source, maybe you can buy an Oppo or you can buy uh, the regular Pioneer or the Sony options. Okay. Uh, these are Blu-ray players? Right? These are all Blu-ray players uh, yeah. which will give you full HD. Yeah. Uh, they are not 4K ready but I don't think there is any content out there for 4K Absolutely. so people should just hang on and not just jump on the 4K bandwagon. If you remember for a long time the PlayStation 3 was a very strong yeah. Blu-ray player obviously coming from the Sony bandwagon, the, the old Blu-ray disc. Now, what do you think of the PlayStation as of now? Because at least for the gamer, does it make more sense to go in for a PlayStation? Absolutely, it, it does. I mean, if you want to use your system as a home theater and a, and a gaming system, I, I think the PS3 is a great option. Uh, I, I just feel, in my opinion, that a lot of people who are not gamers uh, yeah. and also want their system to be used by other family members, yeah. the PlayStation uh, interface is not the most uh, you know yeah. intuitive or maybe inviting. Whereas a regular controller is something they are more familiar with, yeah. uh, is more inviting, is more appealing. So that's almost touching three lakhs. What about a screen? How important important is a screen? I'd say, I mean, irrespective of the projector you're buying uh, and you're going in for a screen is as important. Yeah. And I think within that very uh, tight budget that we have for 3 lakhs, we, we fit in everything else. And a screen, I think, from a brand called Gala Light, mm -hmm. which is an Indian version of uh, a known brand called Dalite, uh, you can easily get for 15 to 20,000 bucks in the market. Let's talk about the sweet spot in buying a home theater setup. I know you can go all the way up to a crore and a crore and a half if you, if we, if we left you My to it, <laughs> if we left you to it. But yeah. what would you think is a sweet spot in terms of 
where you get the right bang for your buck you have a system that you're not only happy about you can flaunt it and it should do you well for a couple of years oh well in my sweet spot if i had about 20 25 25 lakhs uh, i would start with a projector brand called wolf cinema uh, which is actually an adaptation of a jvc projector but they do their own they, they you know they have their own magic dust on the jvc yeah. and they call it the wolf cinema which is uh, a higher end brand so i start with the wolf cinema maybe the sdc8 as i remember is it a 4k uh, uh no it's not a 4k it's full 1080p but you know like we were discussing earlier it maybe it's too premature for 4k but i mean if you have to take a call i'd rather put my money on the best full hd possible right now as yeah. opposed to entry level 4k for the speakers i'd go with the bmw mt60 which is uh, which is a very cute uh, subset system but very high performance at the yeah. same time so in case uh, you have a huge projector and a huge screen something like the wolf can accommodate yeah. you won't need to you know uh, devote additional floor space for big speakers these can go on the wall they can be wall mounted what about the source uh the source i mean if you're uh in that budget the oppo uh the bdp 105 uh it's the industry standard i mean in fact every hi-fi show that you go to use is yeah. the oppo blue ray player as a source what about the amp uh for that price again you know the options are very wide uh but my personal choice would be maybe from a yamaha or a pioneer and at that price you can also afford to maybe you know go a notch higher and yeah. have a dolby atmos system at home yeah. and if you can afford this i think uh, the pioneer sclx uh uh 88 or 87 yeah. uh they are, they are atmos certified there's a yamaha as well called the 3030 okay. uh both of these amplifiers are in the 1 and 1/2 lakh rupee region yeah. and they're both atmos certified